Well, the question of origins, historically, has been approached through the study of paleoanthropology, going out and digging things up out of the ground, bones, and often on the basis of morphology, typically skull shape, saying that looks a little bit more like my cousin Fred than that does. This is the missing link. This is where we all came from. What I'll suggest, though, as a geneticist, as somebody who deals in larger quantities of data, is that the field of paleoanthropology gives us lots of fascinating possibilities about our past and our origins. But it doesn't give us the probabilities about direct lines of descent that we really want as scientists. And what do I mean by that? Possibilities, not probabilities. What you're looking at here are three extinct species of hominid, potential ancestors, all uncovered from the same location in Kenya, by the Leakey family, in fact, funded by the National Geographic Society, and all dating to roughly the same time. From left to right, we've got Homo erectus, Homo habilis, and Paranthropus boisei, a robust Australopithecine. So we've got three potential ancestors, three potential origins, if you will, all living in the same location at the same time. That means that not all three could have left a direct line of descent down to the present day and to me. Possibilities about origins in our past, but not the probabilities that we really want as scientists. Well, we as geneticists take a different approach. Instead of going out and digging things up out of the past and guessing at how they may connect up with the present and to us, we start in the present and work our way back. In effect, trying to build a family tree for everybody alive today. Now, I think most of us have a general sense of our family trees. Some people are really obsessive about this and have gone back many, many, many generations. But the issue with standard genealogical methods, of course, is that eventually we hit what the genealogists call a brick wall, a point beyond which there is no written record, and we simply enter this dark and mysterious realm we call history, and ultimately prehistory. But of course, it turns out, as we know, that we're carrying what is in effect a genealogical document, a historical document inside of ourselves, inside of nearly every cell in our body, in our DNA, the human genome. And that traces an unbroken line of descent back through our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, back to the very early days of our species, allowing us to finally answer these questions of origins and journey 